You were voted in a recent poll. It was a poll both on the Internet but also among parliamentary press here in uh, Holland as the most popular politician in Holland. Why? Well, um, this is something you should never say about yourself, and so um, uh, I have to be modest about that, but I don't know. I, th I think that um, um, the poll was um, within the group of journalists and within uh, the public, and I think within the public, uh, people respect that at least there is one political group in Parliament and, uh, headed by a politician who is not afraid to say what he thinks, and a lot of people in Holland, we are, once again, we are not xenophobes or racists, but we want to stay proud of the identity uh, that we have, which is not uh, being an Islamic uh, country with Islamic values. And people are fed up with the crime, with the taxes they have to pay for the unemployment, with everything that goes along with this Islamization of the Netherlands. So they feel um, that uh, at least there is somebody who says our culture is better and let's stop the immigration and let's work on the problems that we have and try to also help the people that are already here to assimilate, but according to our rules, not to their rules. Then for the journalists who are most, is, most is very leftish uh, in my country, unfortunately, I believe most of them um, really don't like me too much, but at least um, they respect the fact that, uh, well, uh, I make sure that there is a debate, at least in the Netherlands, that uh, in the last year uh, um, um, there is some discussion um, in the parliament and that we with our nine uh, party with nine seats out of 150 seats in total which I'm very proud of but it's not the, we are not the biggest party we are the fifth largest party in the Dutch parliament are dominating on many issues the political discussion in the Netherlands and I think even journalists respect that even though most of them are left and don't really appreciate what I have to say. All right, the murder of a Pim Fortune has to be on your mind. Others driven out of the country because of security. I, I assume you still have, a, still, still have a phalanx of security around you, correct? Yeah. What is it like to live that way? Well, it's something that you will, really would not wish your worst enemy um, um, to have. Um, and they are all friendly uh, persons and guys, of course, but it's, uh, it's, it's like losing um, your own freedom. You, can, you are not free to move around or to have a private life or to, to, to really have um, any aspect of freedom in your life now for three and a half years uh, almost. Uh, but still, I have, I have uh, I, you don't, do not hear me complain even though I hate such a kind of life, especially in my personal uh, uh, life. Um, but, uh, You're I living have, with the threat of death. Yes, and all the, all the, uh, the security um, surrounding uh, that. But I have, I have really the adrenaline through my veins my, the, 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 is, is really the fact that I feel a lot of support um, within my country to really make, make a change, uh, be proud of our identity, uh, not be a xenophobe or racist, but speaking out against the ideology that is really um, threatening everything in the West that we stand for. That but all, all, all the costs, all the government attention to, to protect you as an individual, wouldn't it make sense just to temper what you're saying a little bit, just to be a little bit more careful with the comments you make about a, a broad swath of population out there? Well, thank you very much for your uh, personal concern, but uh, the answer would be uh, uh, no, sir, because if I uh, would do that, if I would moderate my voice or maybe stop uh, talking uh, like that at all, um, then um, the people who are not using democratic means uh, but undemocratic means like death threats that I'm getting every day, um, those people would win. And in a democracy, if you are against somebody, you use your freedom of speech, and go and debate, write an article, go uh, vote for a party that thinks differently. Uh, this is democracy. Um, this is civil society. This is everything that should be done in a democracy. So if I would stop saying what I really think and uh, once again, more than half a million people voted on my party and on me personally. Um, so I also have an obligation to the voters that expect this uh, from me. And I believe in it. And if I would not do that, I would not only play a nasty game to my voters, but I would also give a signal to everybody who says, if you say what we don't like, we will kill you, behead you, or whatever, do terrible things with you, that they are winning. That they are winning. And they will never, never as long as I live, at least, at least win um, from me. So where do you th see things going? Where do you see things going in Holland and Europe uh, between Christianity versus versus the Islam faith? I mean, are you optimistic? Are you uh, pessimistic? No, I'm, I'm, from nature, I'm very optimistic. And this is uh, that un un unless of unlike everything, I will stay very optimistic. But to be honest, if you look at the uh, majority of the politicians um, in the Netherlands, but uh, unfortunately in many more countries in uh, my continent, uh, I'm very pessimistic. 
I'm very pessimistic in a way that um, I believe that um, um, uh, the political elite is not wakening up, is uh, putting their head under the carpet, that the uh, distinction, uh, the gap between the Fox Populi and the political elite is only growing more, which will be also destabilizing factor in many uh, European uh, countries. And as long as the political elite doesn't take um, um, the questions, um, um, the threats, uh, the problems of uh, large parts of their constituents seriously, um, I'm very negative. Uh, Europe is go getting in the, in the wrong uh, direction entirely. We are... But don't you, don't you see sh even mainstream politicians shifting a little bit towards your, your side? I mean, in terms of immigration, uh, security? Uh... No, no. I mean, listen, um, and our new government is just here one year. Uh, one of the most important things, at least that's what I claim myself, what they did is what we call a general pardon, a general pardon, which means that they legalized uh, almost 30,000 um, illegal people who often already went to two or three courts, was, were denied a permit because they were mere uh, uh, lying about the application um, to stay in Holland as an asylum seeker or any other um, um, course. Um, and they were just legalized, like Spain did a couple of years ago, even with higher numbers. But so, now Holland has some of the toughest immigration laws uh, we have of not Europe. Tough, come on, we have no tough immigration law um, at all. I mean, if you want to uh, get a, your spouse from Morocco, um, um, she will have to do a small test from five minutes that she knows that uh, Beatrix is not uh, the king of Norway. I mean, this is, this is something like a test that they have to do and say three words uh, which are not French, uh, the Dutch. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this is not strong immigration. If you look at the numbers from last year, they are as, almost as high as they were from the numbers from the year before. And they are even, when it comes to asylum seekers, they are even growing uh, again. Um, so um, uh, don't let them fool you. Um, this is not true. We are not um, stopping immigration at all, and we are still, uh, unfortunately, cultural relatives uh, to the bone, and the government is still playing politically correct, and the uh, large amount of people who live in my country are fed up with it. And if they don't really take them seriously, not only my party will grow, I'm sure they won't like that, but my party will grow, but it will be bring the country to more destable position than stable position, which of course um, is not good. Uh, you should um, solve the problems um, if they are real and they are real.